Senator Kirsten Gillibrand paid a visit to the Southern Tier earlier today. The lawmaker was in the area to lay out her education agenda and encourage some students to think outside of the box when it comes to their future careers. WENY's Candace Cole joins us with a full recap of Gillibrand's visit. Good evening, Candace. Good evening, Ben and Daryl. A big part of Senator Gillibrand's message today was to highlight the need to encourage more girls and minorities to pursue careers in math, science, and engineering, which first starts in the classroom. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand is pushing for federal grant money to be given to schools to make STEM programs, those focused on science, technology, engineering, and math, more inclusive of underrepresented students. I just watched those children. They were actually measuring data, doing mathematic computations, uh, actually tracking the path of a hurricane. Gillibrand's education agenda includes three new pieces of legislation, the Educating Tomorrow's Engineers Act, Computer Science Career Education Act, and the STEM Gateways Act. They're all in an effort to bring more STEM-related K-12 programs to students, like the Mission Control Learning Center at the Wings of Eagles Discovery Center, offering hands-on learning outside of the classroom. It really gives an environment that's exciting to kids because when you walk in there, it's like not a, it's not a regular classroom. You've got consoles and monitors and what have you, and so it uh, really uh, ups the ante in terms of excitement for the, the mission. And with eight out of nine of the fastest growing industries now requiring math and science proficiency, Senator Gillibrand wants to see more minorities and young girls take up STEM-related careers. If you just explain to a young girl that these, um, that learning math, science, and engineering can help people and help communities, they'll be more interested. They just don't know that. Katie Hankey is a sixth grader at Horseheads Intermediate School who wants to be a marine biologist one day. She says she enjoyed her experience at Wings of Eagles. I think it was really fun to see how people track hurricanes and how much work goes into it. Instead of just things popping up on a screen, you really have to do a lot of work um, and to keep people safe. We have to do better in the younger grades, getting them interested so that they are ready to take the jobs of the future. Last year, Wings of Eagles reached close to 4,000 students with interest from female and minority students, reaching up to 40% over the past few years. In the studio, Candace Cole, WENY News.